somewhere between 7 a.m. and 7.30 a.m. We've woken up early for a run because Break before we carry on, we want to say a huge thank you to our very good friends Mariki and Rian for becoming our first members on Buy Me A Coffee. Your support means that we can keep on making these videos. So if you want to find out how you can have your own personal shout out in one of our videos, just follow the Buy Me A Coffee link in our description. Later today, we'll be hopping on a 17 hour bus ride from Krakow, Poland to Tübingen. Germany? <laughs> I'm not sure how you say that. <laughs> so let's go. We are Sarah and Marek. In October 2020, we left our home country of South Africa and set out to see the world using budget travel strategies to make our travels last as long as possible. From working on a traditional winery in Georgia, to a sailboat in Turkey, to attempting to hitchhike over 1,800 kilometers in four days, our budget travels have by no means been boring or uneventful. We can't wait to see what's next. Welcome to Krakow in Poland. We've been in Poland for the past three weeks, but don't worry, we'll tell you all about it after this run. Something that's pretty cool about running here in Krakow is that the area that we're staying in has actually got this beautiful park all around us, and there's quite a nice running loop here. So we're gonna try to figure it out and then tell you all about what we've been up to afterwards. running route is a little stop at the closest place we could find for me to get an antigen test. Now you're probably wondering, why doesn't Marek have to get one too? Well, some of you may remember that we went and made a mission to go to Armenia because they were giving out vaccines and we got our first shot there. When we went back for our second shot, which was at the end of that massive hitchhiking journey that we embarked upon, we were met with the very disappointing news that we were not able to get our second shot because we needed to stay in Armenia for 10 days before we could get that shot and we weren't able to because we had already booked tickets here. <laughs> but fortunately Marek has a Polish passport so he was able to actually get a vaccination here in Poland but I was not as lucky so I now need a test to get into Germany today and Marek is all good. That never gets any easier. Ow! <laughs> but we got it. <laughs> so, yay! We're going to Germany! So how did we get here? We've been in Poland for the past three weeks and we came here specially to attend the traditional Polish wedding of one of Marek's cousins. This trip has been so special. Marek's parents flew out specially from South Africa We've been visiting and just getting to know, for me personally, getting to know the Polish family here in Poland. And the trip overall has just been amazing. After this trip, I really feel like I'm part of the Polish family here. They were so... Fr oh, it's a squirrel, Mark! <laughs> Did you see it? There it is. <laughs> He's looking at us. Up there. He's so cute! Ooh. He came towards us. Whoa. He's gone. He looks rabid. Okay, sorry. Where was I? <laughs> After this trip, I really feel like so part of the family here in Poland. And they were so loving and welcoming and accepting of me into the family. And they really made me feel like I was just part of the family already. And this was just so special for me. The wedding as well was just amazing i loved getting to experience something so traditional and so different to what i know as like the western kind of traditional wedding so for me <laughs> for me it was so cool to see that and i loved this experience of the polish 
culture. The wedding was just so different and there was so much food and so much laughter and fun and dancing along with lots of vodka. <laughs> but overall just such a cool experience and I really enjoyed learning more about the Polish culture and just seeing something so different. So the past three weeks haven't just been wedding. <laughs> We've actually done a few other things with my family. So the one day we went rafting on the Dunayets River. <sighs> that, that was quite an experience. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't believe we made it out alive. You. We have made a short about that one. So be sure to go and check that one out. <laughs> that was definitely one of the most adrenaline filled activities that we have done on our travels. So Let's far. just say our legs were weak for like the rest of the day after <laughs> that experience. <laughs> As well on top of that we actually went back to Zakopane which is really cool. We went back to Zakopane, took my parents there and we went back to the workaway where we spent an entire month back in March. So that was really special. On top of that we also took a train trip to a little town called Krenica and that's actually like a rehabilitation type town because of the lovely climate and the weather and the water there is just it's amazing. We went yeah. to water tasting. It's like the water capital of Poland. It's They've got really, all these really natural cool. springs. Yeah. Like naturally sparkling water. It comes out of the earth sparkling. And very Crazy. metallic tasting very water. Very anyway, cool. enough about water. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a really, really cool past three weeks. We've definitely made the most of our time here. But we are feeling ready to move on out to our next country. In classic Sarah and Marek style, which I'm not super stoked about. We've left quite a few things for today, which is our travel day. So we're gonna have to be very quick about how we get things done today. We've got a few more chores to do. It is already nine o'clock and a bus leaves at four o'clock. And of course we have to use the public transport to get to the bus. You know us by now. <laughs> and we still need a pack as well. Ish. Quite a lot to do. Mm. Our next chore for the day is to swap these blue light filter glasses. Now I got these glasses a few days ago, but unfortunately they got a little bit of a scuff mark on the one lens. So I'm just going to take it back and have it replaced. Something that I noticed with all the time that I spend editing and just sitting behind the computer is that my eyes are really starting to, I don't know, what's the word? They're just getting sensitive to the sun. And I just find myself constantly having to wear sunglasses even when like the sun is going down, it's getting that bad. So these glasses have been doing a wonderful trick so far. So I'm really glad that I actually took the step and decided to go and get these glasses. A little bit disappointing. The shop didn't actually have a replacement pair. So unfortunately, still got the same one with a little bit of a scuff mark. But there's another shop about 5Ks that way that's got a replacement. So if we have a bit of time today after everything that we have to do, maybe we'll pop in there. Just in case you're wondering, while we're here in Krakow, we're actually staying with my cousin and his family. And it's just been so wonderful. They spoil us so much really every do. time we stay with them. And there's just no amount of words that we can say thank you to just say how appreciative we are for them and how much they do for us. So we're just gonna head back to the flat, get showered, and start the big process. Oh, whoopsie. Oops. <laughs> and start the big process of packing. Wish us luck. We don't know how, but we somehow need to fit all of this stuff into our bags. It's all this game. We don't know how, but again, we've managed to get everything in. I was touch and go for a second there. I thought I wasn't gonna get all my stuff in. I'm quite happy that it's all in. It is now five past one. We've got 55 minutes until we have to leave to the bus stop. 
we may be cutting it a bit fine, but we're gonna try to get to the shop to swap my glasses. Don't know if you can see this. I'm actually driving on the wrong side of the car now. <laughs> oh, wrong key. <laughs> Oops. In South Africa, our steering wheel is on the right hand side of the car. We're <laughs> even going to be driving on the wrong side of the road now as well. <laughs> Wouldn't this be a fun little adventure? things are honestly brilliant I've used them for two days now and it makes such a massive difference and just being able to work for hours on your laptop no longer does your brain hurt do your eyes hurt you can just work with no hassles it's wonderful but we've got exactly 29 minutes until we need to actually leave to the bus stop and we are six k's away from the house Go. It is exactly five minutes past two. I'd consider that an outstanding success. <laughs> it's always sad saying goodbye and we really enjoyed our time with the family, but we're also really excited for this new adventure. using the trams because we don't actually have that sort of transport back in South Africa so we always enjoy it so much whenever we get the chance to use that to get to the bus stop you have to go through the mall how strange at least there's lots of signs pointing us in the right direction this doesn't look like the bus stop we saw yesterday Lots and lots of buses. And that means we're in the right place. We are here an hour and a half early. And part of me admires you, Murray, <laughs> for getting us here early, being prepared. We're here like way before the time. And then there's another part of me that's like, we were gonna have a 17 hour bus ride, and now we just have an 18 hour and a half. Let's drive. Right. Using the buses and stuff is always so much fun, but it is really stressful. We've got about 10 minutes until we're about to leave and our bus isn't near yet. Not like when you get to the airport, you know exactly where to find the, the plane and stuff, but here at the bus station, everything's a little bit uncertain no matter where you go and like also the place that we're going to is not a main stop on the route it's just one of the little side places so you don't actually see the name of where we are going on the signboards and we don't know where the end point for this race is either it always just gets a heart racing a little bit <sighs> it's here it's here this is our bus it's coming yeah okay game plan you run on board get our seats i'll put the bags into the bottom okay Go. Never mind our game plan. It's quite a long line. <laughs> oh, 
we have just made it to a town called Opole and we actually didn't think that we'd be getting off the bus just yet. So we came into this trip thinking that we had one bus going all the way from Krakow to the town called Tübingen, Tübingen in Germany but it has now turned out that we actually have three separate buses to catch during the 17 hours. It's had a little bit of a spanner to the works but the people have been very helpful so far and they're telling us exactly what buses to get onto so we really can't complain about that. This next one is taking us straight to Stuttgart and we are apparently supposed to get there at about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we're gonna settle down. This is our bus directly behind us here. Settle down. Hopefully have a good night's sleep. Hopefully have a good night's rest and have a long overnight bus, bus ride. <laughs> bus Let's ride. go! <laughs> Please let it stop. <laughs> we are so, so late. We were, just so you can understand, we were supposed to have arrived in Tübingen. I think it's about half an hour ago and we're still 20 minutes outside of Stuttgart. We haven't even got onto our third and final bus yet. We are so late. <laughs> but we have been on this bus for 14 hours now. And I can honestly say, oh, here comes a truck. Oh. Oops. I can honestly say that I feel every single second of this journey it has been difficult. <laughs> but we are almost there. And we're actually in Germany now and the weirdest part about it is that we weren't actually asked to be we weren't asked to show any form of vaccination, any tests, we didn't have to show our passports, we kind of just drove over the border. It is weird because like they didn't even ask us for our passports or anything getting onto the bus. All they asked for was our ticket. I, so I, I woke up at two o'clock, looked on the GPS and there we were like a hundred k's into Germany already. And I could just walk out freely. Like we are right now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello Germany. <laughs> <laughs> we are two hours late. not sounding good. I think we're gonna have to try and rearrange to get a different bus because the lady is saying that our bus that we should have caught would have left like two hours ago because our bus was so late so we're probably gonna have to make a plan and catch a different bus to get to our last stop which is Tabingen. <sighs> The bus is supposed to arrive in seven minutes. No way. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sarah and Mare. What's happening? Come here, this is YouTuber. Hey. Ah, yeah, danke. Nach abonnieren. Danke, danke. Oh, awesome, danke. Oh, my YouTube is that was brilliant. <laughs> well, the bus is supposed to arrive in seven minutes. Um, feeling pretty good about that. There was a stage there where, that. where the lady said, no, nah, this bus is left. Already. I honestly thought we were going to have this to make it. This bus left plan. at half past eight and it's now half past ten. So, I don't know how that's possible though. It was supposed to leave at half past eight, so it's. Well, the bus isn't here yet, and we still have a chance of getting to Tübingen in the next couple of hours. Yay. Fantastic! Well, those little guys were really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> it's our bus. We're on, and we're going. And the whole bus is like empty. It was Yay. fantastic. The last bus was cramped. <laughs> Every seat was taken. And it was also small. It was very small. So it was like a tight space. These seats are luscious. Mm. <coughs> Let's go to Tobingen. 
Yay! Bathroom tour, anyone? later and we have just arrived. Man, this feels good. <laughs> it's from when we left the flat in Krakow yesterday to when we arrived here in Germany today. It has been a full 24 hours and let me tell you we have felt every second <laughs> of this journey. We are feeling pretty tired, pretty broken but the buses are definitely the cheapest way to go. It's cheaper than the planes, it's cheaper than the trains. We do suffer a little bit during the journey, but we save so much money in the process, so we really can't complain that much. And we've been greeted by our very good friends, Maya and Cheryl, and we're so excited to be spending the next couple of weeks with them. We're not entirely sure how long we'll be in Germany for, but it's beautiful so far. They've really welcomed us so nicely. We feel so at home already, and Germany, Oh, it's beautiful so far. I'm so excited to explore more. I loved looking at the beautiful buildings out the bus window already and this area that we're in. So beautiful. I'm so excited. So smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps us out a lot. Leave us some love down in the comments. Let us know if we are the only crazy ones who will take <laughs> a 17 hour bus ride over like a two hour flight. <laughs> Just to save money. <laughs> Subscribe if you would like to see a potential German future coming up Ooh. in the next few weeks. And we'll see you guys back this coming Tuesday. <laughs> so how did we get... Sorry, I think I was being bitten by a muzzy. <laughs> you okay? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Something smells amazing! Is it you? Is it you? What is it? Yeah.